You wanna know why I like this uniform? I like it because it's fucking uncomfortable. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. You know, I think that there's a, a special kind of person that ends up joining and serving in any branch of the United States military. I was raised in a, a really rough little city. Both of my parents were either engaged in drug use or they sold drugs. Um, there was alcohol abuse, physical abuse, mental and emotional abuse. You know, I, I might hurt you know, a few people sharing my story, but the reality is I grew up in an environment that was drug and alcohol infested. Um, I saw my my first dead body, I think I was maybe seven or eight years old, um, in a hallway. Um, people strung out. I was physically abused, mentally and emotionally abused. I was homeless in high school, so there was a period of time from about my... Uh, I guess freshman year in high school, I was maybe 14. And uh, I was kicked out of my mother's house. And um, I haven't been back. My mom and I have been in the process of healing our relationship. But the reality is during the formative years of my life, I was on the street. I lived in parks, slept on benches, on beaches, um, house hopped, lived with friends. And somehow I still managed to graduate from high school and get my diploma. One of the things that I was always told was that education was the key out of your situations. Um, I didn't fully understand what that meant, but I knew that that was the only uh, piece of information I had to go on. So uh, I dove headfirst into being intelligent, um, being smart, you know, as smart as I possibly can be. I played volleyball and softball most of my high school career into college. Um, but all throughout college, I mean, all throughout high school, I was homeless. Um, I kind of house hopped a bit in college. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'm amazed that I was able to complete high school and then go ahead and complete my degree it was a fight for sure. And um, growing up was a fight. But I don't remember having a mother as complicated and um, dysfunctional at times as we were and as she may have been. Uh, I just remember her being a fighter. I don't have examples of quitting. Um, I don't have an example of a mother who was battered. I had I have examples of a mother who got into fights. I saw her whop this guy with a two by four and almost knock his ass out of a window. Obviously, that's not a good example for children, so I'm not uh, condoning or celebrating that, but that's a part of my story. It's a part of the things that I've witnessed and experienced. And so I say all that to say, it takes a special kind of a person to join the United States military. It takes even uh, a more special person to serve in the army. Uh, essentially, you're signing up, not knowing where you'll be stationed. Um, and you're signing up, potentially willing to make the ultimate sacrifice of your life. And so, uh, while I may not be the fastest or the strongest soldier, um, one thing I can say is that out of a whole lot of people who try, I actually succeeded. And um, there was one thing that was key to my success, and that was you can't um, mentally quit. Nothing about basic training is physical. There are physical obstacles. Yes, there's PT, and I've been asked about PT. Is it hard? What's it like? Um, what I can tell you is that PT in training sucks. Uh, you're awakened, 
at four o'clock in the morning. You have drill sergeants Ready? screaming, Ready? banging trash cans, uh, bull horns. They're over the intercom. It's absolute chaos and mayhem every morning um, for weeks, for weeks. And you wake up with a sense of anxiety and also uh, anticipation and expectation. Your body is pushed to its limits and um, it's absolutely broken down. I was asked about ruck marching and uh, what ruck marching is like. And ruck, ruck marching is actually something that I, I enjoy. And I think I enjoy it because I in, embrace the suck very, very well. Um, there's something about suffering. I think I've suffered a lot in this life. And so I am very comfortable being really fucking uncomfortable. And so the key uh, to, ha to making it through a ruck successfully is you have to zone out mentally again. Rucking, only a portion of rucking is actually physical. Sure, you know, if you are five foot two and weigh uh, a wet 100 pounds, um, a ruck is almost half your size and weight. And so um, it'll be difficult to bear that, bear that weight and bear that burden. However, I know people who have done it and people continue to do it. So that lets you know that it's less physical and far more mental than anything. In terms of the gas chamber, um, the gas chamber just sucks. Uh, CS gas, it burns. Uh, it feels like your nostrils, your eyeballs, and everything else is on fire. Um, you're not permitted to do what's, what feels natural to you, which is to rub your eyes or touch your body. Um, there's no soothing mechanism allowed once you are in or out of the gas chamber. What will separate you from the people who quit is when you get out of the gas chamber, what's your first thought? Are you thinking, I'm done, I wanna quit, I'm sick of this shit? Or do you think, gas me again? I know that might sound crazy um, to, to even suggest that you go through the hell of the gas chamber and then you say, gas me again. <laughs> Who the fuck says, gas me again? Um, but that is the mind of a soldier. That's that, that hit me again, gas me again. That again, right? That you can't break me attitude. That it doesn't matter how many times you send me through the gas chamber. It doesn't matter how many pounds you put in my ruck how long the ruck is, how much you break my feet and my body down, I'm not gonna quit. That is what it takes to be a United States soldier and that's in part why I fucking love this uniform. This uniform is a physical manifestation or display of who I am inside. I don't quit. I don't give a fuck how, how uncomfortable the situation is I won't quit. I don't care how much shit you talk. I'm not gonna break. Um, that's not to say that you can't be broken. It just means that you'll die before you quit. That's the attitude of a soldier. Those are the people that you fight beside. Those are the people that you wouldn't mind going to war with. And that is what's gonna separate you from the people who quit. And I promise you, a lot of people will quit. I receive all kinds of messages from people about what their aspirations are, what their fears are, questions, um, concerns, whether it's about PT or the gas chamber or ruck marching, um, whether it's trolling me um, and trying to somehow tell me that I'm not worthy of the uniform that I earn. Um, Whatever the case, uh, my message is just to suck all of that shit up and make it happen. 
Um, I think I said something similar in the how to lose weight video. At the end of the day, if this is something that you want, if it's something that you've dreamed of, um, I don't know why anyone would dream of sucking so bad and <laughs> experiencing the pain and frustration that you will experience during training. But um, yeah, just suck that shit up. Suck it up and make it happen. Whatever it is, whether it's losing weight, whether it's getting that high score on the ASVAB, um, making it through basic training, making it through AIT. If you're watching this video and you're in AIT and you just feel like you can't push any further, just suck that shit up and make it happen so you can get to your duty station and serve your country honorably. I don't really have any soothing words. Hey, probably wondering why I'm crying, why I have a scarf on, why? Um, I just got off the phone with my first sergeant and, um, uh, oh, Jesus. This has been a long, <laughs> complicated, but incredible year. And uh, my first sergeant just called and was just like sharing the impact that I had on her and on my company and how even though uh, my rank doesn't say sergeant, how that's how she recognizes me um, as one of her sergeants and that she just went on and on and on about um, what she's seen in me as a soldier.